gonna try that. Seems good, seems good. Now we've seen two attacks from this guy. Oh, falling over really isn't his move set. What the hell? moves in such a wacky way, it's just hard to do it. Work. What's that? I don't want to be in that, whatever that is. I don't like it. Ugh. Poison's run out. Uh-oh. I don't know if I should potion or not. I'll go with it, I'll go with it. Faces of sin, thank for key, besiege seed, umbral scouring. Cool. There were, there were at least two places, maybe even three, that wanted the Thancred's key. That was a cool fight. It was a cool fight. It was much easier when I like geared up a bit, leveled up a bit, maybe. I think I just geared up, I don't think I even got any level ups, but yeah, that was... Maybe the double thumbs you ups for Tancred. He cool. Quiet. You can strut around in your grand armor with your imperious voice and your oh so unshakable faith. And you can maim and murder anyone, our little black heart desires. I said be quiet. But you're only embarrassing yourself like some talentless child mummer. They don't respect you or fear you no matter what you do to them. <laughs> you see clearly through your pathetic facade to the powerless hypocritical coward you truly are. Enough! Shh, sweet brother. Damn. The Pancred brothers still cool even after they die. And wow, they have a remembrance. That's so awesome. So the bit where he calls him a, a mama, that's like a really old school way of someone who like, you know, always calls for his mum when anything goes wrong. As far as I'm aware, you know, it's M-U-M, -M, so it's like an old English way of saying it. We spell mom, M U M, not M. O M, like in America. Oh, sorry, we found another use for the Tancred key. Pretty cool. Flickering flail. So he's down here torturing people. All the time, he was also corrupted by all the fire deer stuff. 
like a lot of the other holy guys were, which is why we're turning all of the, the different things from red back to gold. Oh wow, so we don't have one of those lights down here, thinking about it. We do not have the opportunity to set off another holy age. Unless it's past one of the, the tanks or what's it? Lights just kind of blinded me when they came back on. Okay, where's my vestige point? Let's go back to the base. I'm going to commit to the claw at the very least. A plus agility scaling. Perfect. No regrets. Own to perfection. Fully upgrade a weapon. We'll achieve. In this area though, I'm still not too sure. It might just be that I need more agility in order to make this weapon become bad. Like 263, it's great. It is my best. But maybe if my agility was even higher, this one would come into its own. The B scaling without any runes on it. D scaling without any runes on it. So if I if I did get a load more level ups, this I think would be better. And then along the same line, surely something else in here has got really good. This is A+. Plus. I just went agility, agility, agility. We would get somewhere. Same with this bad boy. This one's got a B on it. And yet it's still so far behind. This is going to take forever to catch up with Fist of Insight. It's tricky. It's like a moving target. Let's see what element setup I prefer. Now this one, it's got good runes, options. It's got 60 fire, which I'm not really interested in fire specifically. This one, ah, uh, this one's got the bleeding on it and poison. I think I'm more interested in this one. This one's only a tiny bit behind. I'm going to see what runes you can put on the Kukajin sword. And then I'm going to go with the Kukajin sword if it's, if it's not there. I am denied over what I was going to do here for so long. Just got a triangle. Means I can take the physical dual wield. And it's, I don't think it's got one of these, does it? It does. It's got the same sort of setup. Yeah. Yep, okay. Physical damage while you're wielding. Increase agility, use strength. There we go, there's the commit. Ten Talon, ten Kukajin. Check, check the rings. We haven't done that for a while. Stamina and stamina regeneration and equip load. I'm going to do one we didn't look at. Holy defense. Oh, damn. That'd only be good for phase one of Judge Cleric. Seeing anything good so far?
unless I wanted healthy generating over time, I think I, I think I have kind of a perfect setup here. See, that would take me into heavy. So if I don't like the equip load, I mean, I don't really like how any of the gear looks at the moment. That's what I might do. Pick up the health regenerating. So currently our next setup for dealing additional damage with every status effect afflicted upon the enemy. I got like three or four status effects. It's pretty good. Oh, I think I've got double poison, so I think it's still three in total. Bleed, fire, poison. So the next good, if it does a lot, it doesn't really say how much additional damage you get for each status, but I've got three status effects. Wow, this one's probably interesting for the end boss. Increases with a damage. Yeah, fine, whatever. But fire defense, phase two. Holy defense, phase one. <laughs> increase physical defense with warrior's cool. Pretty cool. And increase maximum health. So there's some interesting necks, but I'm not saying that I'm going to do. I think we're good. I think it's Judge Cleric in time. Four. Four are big ones. Ah, you again. And then they don't have the money. Rats. Let's bank ah. by buying. You again. Ah, you again. Ah, you again. I'm trying to get everything done on the blacksmith. So that I can free Sparky. I don't know what's going to happen with the blacksmith when I hand the rune over to Sparky. Let's try and help Sparky out. Try and look around for that uh, tan Tancred duels. I know, I know that there's some somewhere, but you got to find them. So I thought there was two even before I found that third one, or possibly even three. Interact. Ooh, interesting. Why would you hit a guy while he's enchanted poison? It's just mean. I'm gonna be mean back. Interact. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay. Fine. So this is a tank duel. Cool. This gets us, uh... Three levers? There's one up, one down, one to get it back. So where does... Let's... Uh, uh, up? Up then. I'm hoping this will head us back to like a more normal vestige. Oh, I love the visuals of the lighting while you're going up. That's nice. Oh, this might be where the other place that I was thinking about the tank. So, this is where I 
first go down the ladder to start descending. Interesting. That guy falls down the hole, which is interesting. I don't know if I ever, like, safely walked around the room. I, I guess I did loot in panic. Right, this one's my left. What about the rest of this? ABL. Always be looting. Okay. So can I keep going up? On the up arrow. Whoa, you can? Cool. More glorious light. Bathe in the light. So maybe this is. Oh! Oh! I totally wanted to go up more. Cleanse them beacons. Cleanse that bacon. Ugh. Ugh. Don't worry, things are about to get better. I'm here to fix everything. I got a weird hat, but don't worry about it. of the hallowed sisters. The Abbey of the hallowed sisters. Cactus's notes and sketches relate to the Abbey of the hallowed sisters, second only to the Imperium, is heard of the hallowed sensible sacred ground, the rising path of the Imperium, Food and landmarks of this cloister, containing a large and blessed tree in a bathhouse. Can I look at map? No, okay. Where was the map page then? Happy the Happy the Hallow Sisters, okay. Oh, so the Hallow Sisters is just up towards where the Judge Cleric is. That's the tree that they talked about. That was the one in the middle of the courtyard. Oh, I remember going up those steps with all the faces, yeah. So these are kind of interesting in that, you know, they are telling you where to go on some of the bits with arrows. Ah. Tower of the Penitence, telling me to ride the elevator up to the the beacon in the sky. First to fall down. Oh! It's a picture of the statue that just said dot dot dot, but it says use the arrow to turn to one. So they, they are maps, but they're they're more like character notes of an explorer. So the up arrow we can't interact with anymore. Let's try it. Let's try going the down way. All the way down. So, down stage one. Down stage two. I like the idea of a multi-elevator. I think they could let you interact with the lever a bit faster. Not 
sweet. So this is where we started next to the uh, dot dot dot. So we're gonna try uh, another down. Oh, oh dear. You may not. Get 200 monies. Good. I judge cleric. Can I get 200 monies without falling over dead? Sorry, I learned your attack patterns and your teleport patterns. Sorry. Oh, we got a hat. A best mitra. It is. Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Perfect. Gotta remember to flask when you got a poison on you, brother. Oh, I thought this was the path with the faces on it. I guess not, though.
after this boss room, was there a save point? No, no way, there wasn't. There wasn't. We did a lot of running around upstairs and went the two different ways, looted all the stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And the only reason we got the shortcut is because we went all the way around and back down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me remember. me there. lady does not wish to be disturbed, Pieta. This sickness, this corruption spreading across the kingdom is out of control, and the efforts to cleanse it have devolved into callous butchery. But she knows, bro. She's in the deer guy now. Most of the holy guys went full on a deer. Like, even, even Pietro went pretty Cleansed her with combat, just like one step away from her going full, full evils. <gasps> oh, I found all the things. Our holy word continues, Lamp. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus's divine radiance flow through me and into you. No freaking way. Our holy word continues, Lamp Bearer. There's four more saintly quintessences somewhere in the game? Oh, and it gets you one more charge as well. Let Arius's will be done. Damn. Six more. I've got two. So this is four more. Yeah. 